happy Facebook Friday. This is Elise Polly, um, the owner and founder of Polly Properties at KW Vermont. And for this week, we are going to be chatting about listings and all that goes into the strategies around when is the right time to list your home. So as we go through this, um, whether you're watching it live or at a later time, don't hesitate reaching out to our team. If you have any follow-up questions, you can go to our Facebook page, give me a call or email us. Just let us know what questions you might have. So a lot of people ask, when is the right time to list my home? This is one of the most common questions that we receive in real estate. People wanna make sure that they get the timing right to maximize their return. So typically, I'm gonna tell you, my typical answer when you ask me that question is, what's the right time for you? So our approach with Poly Properties is, is really not to push you into listing at a time that doesn't work for you and your lifestyle and whatever other things that you might have going on in your life. Um, I really think that the market is overall fairly strong in Chittenden County year over year. So therefore, there, there's not really typically a perfect time to list your home. So that said, this year is a little bit different. So this is gonna be probably the first time that you're hearing me with a different message. And my message is, if you're even considering listing your home in the next year, now is the time. So the question is, why would my message be so different than what I have said for years now? And the reason being is that we have had such low inventory for years and such high demand combined with really low interest rates. So now more than ever, if you're even thinking about selling in the next year, I'm gonna encourage you to consider talking to me sooner and listing your home sooner. So there's some real advantages to putting your home on the market right now. When, you know, sim simple supply and demand, when supply is really low and demand is high, then you're gonna see that there are the higher listing prices, the situations are gonna be more competitive, and we're seeing a lot of out-of-state buyers as well as out-of-state cash buyers. So cha-ching, cha-ching, you as a seller are going to be putting more money in your pocket if you consider listing now versus in the spring. The other thing that we're seeing is we're seeing a lot of multiple offer situations. So typically, you know, it, it's pretty normal in our market to have a listing receive a few offers. However, we're experiencing such record high numbers of offers. So this year alone, I've had properties that have received record-breaking amounts of offers. So we had a condo in Essex that received 12 offers. We had a home in Jericho a few weeks ago receive nine offers. So you can imagine if you are that seller and you get to look at my nice little Excel spreadsheet showing your nine offers and getting to cherry pick the one that best meets your needs, your timeline, and then of course the highest price. It's a pretty good situation to be in, right? So let's just talk about inventory as far as statistically speaking. So we're seeing a 26% decrease in condos and townhomes over the last two years. So from 2018 to 2020. So again, that, that's a pretty big decrease in the amount of inventory. And you're gonna hear some real estate agents talk about what is a balanced market. So a balanced market is typically determined by how many months worth of inventory that we have. So typically we like to see four or five months of inventory to be considered balanced, right? So that means that, you know, it's not quite a seller's market, not quite as much of a buyer's market, but more meeting in the middle. Right now, we are certainly a seller's market within Chittenden County, and we're experiencing about a three month supply of inventory. I'm actually surprised that that isn't even lower because it, it feels, you know, from our perspective to be pretty competitive. 
So I love talking numbers, so let me know if you have any questions about that. Um, the other thing is that we're seeing a lot of our sellers just choosing to sell directly with someone from our team. So some sellers might say, you know, we don't even want to go to the open market. We would rather just have you find us a buyer client. And why would they do that, right? If it's such a hot market and we're receiving five, six, seven, eight, nine offers. The reason that a seller might do that is they might not want to have all those people in their home during COVID and or they might not want to do all the work of staging their home, doing the photography, and then leaving for the showings. So if you're a seller that is feeling, yes, I'm interested in selling. However, I, I really don't relish the idea of having all those people in my home and all that work. Chances are Poly Properties can find you a buyer. We can streamline the whole process for you and give you a reduced commission rate. So that might be of high interest to you if you're one of those people considering that. So why would you want to list with Poly Properties? Well, I'm kind of biased, right? But last year we were the number one agent for volume at KW Vermont out of 170 agents. Poly Properties team was voted to have best client care, best customer service last year at KW Vermont. So we're super proud of that. And then our average days on market was 22.8 days. So that means that we're selling our houses within a couple weeks, which is the goal, right? The faster we sell your home, the fewer the showings, the quicker you can get to the closing table and move on to that next step in your life. And then last but not least, we were getting 99.6% of our original price. What does that mean to you? Why do you care about that percent? That means that we're not pricing incorrectly. That means, you know, if you saw, let's say a 90% conversion rate, that we are pricing way too high and then having to say, oops, sorry seller, we have to do price reduction, price reduction, price reduction to meet the market. We're instead, because we're pricing so accurately, the market's recognizing it, the houses are going under contract quickly, and then we're getting you top dollar for your home. So that is just a few thoughts on the strategy of when to list your home, you know, now versus spring. Again, the recap is we're highly recommending that if you've even considered it to talk to us sooner than later and to capitalize on this really low inventory and high buyer interest. So I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us. And if you have any um, topics of discussion that you would like us to cover in the future, we'd love to hear from you. We would love some fresh ideas, so let us know. All right, have a great weekend and stay warm.